Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Libras. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours for you. So January 22nd to the 24th of this month. So let's get it pop and let's see what energy surrounding you. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. And if you would like a personal, my website information is always listed in the description box, okay? Um, so let's get it popping. Libras for the next 72 hours. January 22nd through the 24th. Okay. So the overall energy, we have the Page of Pentacles. Your current energy, we do have the Seven of Wands. The challenge is the Hierophant. Advice from your spirit guides is the sun card. And then the outcome of this time frame is the eight of pentacles. Libra is the next 72 hours. Okay. We have don't let your past hold you back. South node energy. Libra is next 72 hours. And we have purity. Okay. So you guys are the second sign during this time frame that got that card. But OK, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So first card I want to discuss is this page of Pentacles, And this usually is my card. This is my card of. Basically realizing, right, that somebody who you love, somebody who you've invested time, effort, energy into, somebody who you really care about, um, somebody who you may have even nurtured at one point. This is like having a lot of hope and expectation and hopes and even goals for them in a sense and wanting them to kind of live up to expectation of being as great as you kind of see them but them not being able to live up to it because they don't even recognize their own potential if that makes any sense so with this energy some of you guys during this time frame you may be realizing that somebody who you really care about and you nurtured the relationship with them you nurtured the connection you you expected a lot of growth to come from it but this person may still be in a um, immature mindset or not in a place to where they have much to offer and this could be a little bit of a problem during this time frame because it's like, well, what, what do you do with that? What, what do you do with someone who you're having a hard time getting to like mature and grow into the person that you may be needing romantically? So some of you guys may be realizing that you have too high of expectations for someone, that they just can't live up to them quite yet. Um, and for others of you, if it's not romantic, it's more of a, um, it, it's more of like you guys needing to also realize your own personal worth. And you guys kind of figuring that out during this time frame because some of you guys may have been settling for less. And I mean that in a financial sense, romantic sense. This is just like settling for less than what you know you deserve. So this is like kind of getting in tune with your personal worth. Um, some of you guys also maybe want to work on your health during this time frame, um, whether this is like eating healthier or even possibly going to the gym as well. Now, when it comes to your current energy, I do have the seven of wands. Um, so you could be dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius or Leo who could be giving you a little bit of a difficult time. And this could be making you feel very stressed the hell out. Um, it really doesn't even have to be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. This could be anybody where you're talking to them. You're in the talking stages or you're dating them or you guys are in a relationship and they could be stressing you out because it could be being difficult or you guys could be having arguments or you could even be just feeling like there's just way too many obstacles keeping you guys from having the relationship that you would like to have with them. Um, some of you guys could just also be feeling like if you're not dating, this applies to you. Um, you could just be feeling like there's just a lot of like random issues coming up or random obstacles keeping you from doing what you need to do. So um, understand that these are just small, minor obstacles you can overcome. Don't let the obstacles overcome you. OK, now the challenge is the Hierophant. So this is for some of you guys, your marriage 
or your relationship or for some of you guys, your, okay, your spiritual beliefs are starting to kind of like disalign with like your like family's beliefs and stuff like that. So that could be a little bit of a struggle for some of you guys, but I'm really seeing that this is like your, your love life for some of you guys. Others of you, this could even be like a boss who's giving you a hard time. Stuff like that, okay? And for some of you guys, you could be struggling with getting in tune with your spirituality. Like, um, you could be, like, new to this. And it could be um, a little bit of a process for you. But the advice from your spirit guides, I do have the sun card. So this is focusing on your personal happiness. Um, this is making sure that you're keeping an account of that and that you're not neglecting um, to to do things that are in alignment with your personal happiness and you know, letting other people basically make you feel miserable in the process of trying to care for them, being careful of that. Um, also, this is making sure that you're always being self-aware. Okay, and looking at things from a clear point of view. Now, the outcome during this time frame, I do have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is you guys really getting to work. Um, if there's like a, a business that you have, this is you guys working on new inventory, working on new strategies to bring in customers. If you have a job, this is like you really putting in some hours. You might be wanting to put in some extra hours to make like a home purchase or to make like a big purchase in the next couple of months or like in a year or so. Um, Eight of Pentacles, some of you guys may be working on your, your marriage or working on your relationship or at least trying to. Um, but most of you, this is more of like pouring into work stuff. And like I said, some of you guys may be like working out and stuff as well. But we do have um, don't let your past hold you back. So for a lot of you, again, you need to make sure you're not letting past energy hold you back. And for a lot of you, you're finally getting to a place where you're not letting your past hold you back. So that's good. But this is very clear. Do not let past experiences, past people who show up randomly and you trying to move on and attract new love and then you let them back into your life and then it distracts you from attracting new people into your life because they're familiar. Be careful of that. And with this purity card, for some of you, you just need, or all of you, it's good to get a spiritual bath um, at least once a month, okay, to clear your energy out. So if you are feeling stressed out, energy drained, you know, all that stuff, it, it may be time for you to get a spiritual bath, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, thumbs the video up, subscribe, check out the description if you want a personal reading, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.